I had only one friend left, I'd want it to be you. John Haynes has been a friend of the game and to everyone he has encountered during his distinguished career. There's only so many people that come around this world that are just absolutely pure, pure people. And that's it. He just is a pure person. He, uh, he treats you like you, you know, just treats you so good and he becomes your friend and he's your friend forever. Knowing him 30 some years ago when we were both younger men, uh, he was like an older brother to me. Anytime anybody's got that as much class as John, it's going to rub off and you're going to want to be around him and hence the game of golf grows around him. I'm impressed to watch the professionals, the golfing professionals, to see the jobs they do. And John's probably the epitome of the golfing professional. John worked most of his 40 years as a renowned PGA professional in the Middle Atlantic section. The Navy veteran started at Andrews Air Force Base, then spent 10 years at Goose Creek Country Club, followed by 16 years at Hunt Valley Golf Club in Maryland. Serving as Mid-Atlantic Section President during his time at Hunt Valley, Haynes left a lasting impact on golf at the club. We went there when it was fairly new. It was uh, only a couple of years old, and to see it grow, mature, have its own niche in the community, uh, see it develop into one of the fine golf clubs that sponsor and uh, create so much energy for charities throughout the Baltimore area, those things are things you carry away with you, but mostly it's the people. He's a model. If anybody could to see him, to take after him, that's what you need to be, to be a PGA, any kind of person in this world, because it's, he's just a wonderful type guy. His dedication to the game was uh, extremely, extremely well done. He just did a great job of that dedication to golf. And that's what it's all been about, is golf, 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 not John, golf. The members at Hunt Valley and the entire Mid-Atlantic section benefited from John's all-around talents. Illustrating his versatility, Haynes won both the Mid-Atlantic Section Horton Smith Trophy and the Bill Strasball Award, named incidentally for one of John's mentors. In 1985, the section named Haynes Golf Professional of the Year. The Mid-Atlantic Section is the heart and soul of my golfing career. They, they developed me from a kid out of the Navy that didn't know anything about golf at all, except I wanted to play it and I loved it and molded me and took this guy and, and uh, had this wonderful career, just a wonderful career, and it's all back to the Mid-Atlantic PGA. Haynes' legacy of success lives on through his former assistants. There's so many things I learned from Mr. Haynes, uh, just about life in general, just how to treat people with respect. Um, you know, he always had a smile on his face when the members would walk in and always made them feel right at home, um, just, you know, this, this was their second home and he made them feel that way wherever he was. I'd say that he probably has the stature and the whole kind of respect aura of, of the Cal Ripkins, but he's got, he's got the enthusiasm of the Ray Lewises. John's infectious enthusiasm inspires those around him to a greater love for the game. Push, go. Push, man. Push, yes. Go. Right Good shot. Hey, oh, John, oh, what a boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John compliments every player that I've ever seen him around, as most PGA pros do, but John is sort of exceptional. John's very gracious, and he always finds something positive. I've never seen anybody almost as good as he is with people. The only two people I can think of in the golf profession that are close to him is Arnold Palmer and Nancy Lopez, are the kind of ambassadors to golf that John Haynes was. While John has helped hundreds enjoy the game more, he could certainly play rather well himself. John has a great playing record, but it's often overlooked, I, looked, I think, and I think that uh, my personal observation is John was really a great player. And uh, when John allowed himself to focus on the game, at the, the moment he was out there, he could really play. From playing to teaching and merchandising, former member of the National PGA Board of Directors takes pride in fulfilling all the roles of a PGA professional. I wear the shirts, I wear the logo, I wear the, the logo on the hats and, and my golf bag, and because I'm so proud to be a PGA member. I'm so proud to tell people I'm a PGA member when people ask, are you a professional? I'm a PGA professional. Probably wouldn't have the desire to do it without her. For many decades we've been married. She's 
stood, stood by me and, and worked with me. And I, I, I just wanted to thank her and appreciate how much she's done for me. If I had only one friend left, I'd want it to be you.